what is the determining factor for human potential, for accomplishing what it is you want to accomplish? Well, I'm going to say that it's the self-image. The self-image is the driver and the limiter to what it is that you accomplish. When you can change the self-image, then you can change the performance. The self-image is like a thermostat. Thermostat keeps a room at a certain temperature. If it goes too high, it brings it down. If it goes too low, it brings it up. But it stays within that range. If you can change the self-image, then you can change that range in whatever area you're talking about. Whether you're talking about sales, whether you're talking about leadership, whether you're talking about creativity, whatever it is that you want to be better at, you have a self-image in that area. And as you change that self-image, you're able to change the performance. He had people up there rolling, he had the crowd rolling, he'd done a real good job. Human beings need a goal. Without a goal, human beings are like a ship without a rudder, a ship without a sail. They may be floating, but they're not really going anywhere. So having that goal really matters. Having that goal gives us, all of us, the motivation and the drive to accomplish it. Kind of came out of it, just I, I honestly do feel super relaxed right now. I enjoyed it, it's fun. I would do it again, it's very fun. And that goal needs to be meaningful. It needs to have some intrinsic meaning to us, to you, so that you have the energy and the drive to accomplish what it is you want to accomplish. I had a really great time. Some people might think it's not real. I thought it was real. Just saying. So when you have a goal, and then you match that goal with the, with the right self-image, with a self-image that says, yes, I can accomplish this goal, then you're more likely to be successful. You're going to accomplish more of your potential and you're gonna do it more easily. I'm gonna say that the top performers, whether it be in sports or in business, they are using a type of self-hypnosis. They are literally programming their mind, programming their supercomputer, if you will, their subconscious mind to accomplish what it is they want. It was an experience that I'll never forget. People are really getting hypnotized and it's really real. I believe 1,000%. They may not call it self-hypnosis, they may call it visualizing, or they may call it guided meditation, or they may just call it self-talk. But it is a form of self-hypnosis. When you utilize that auto-suggestion, that self-suggestion, that self-programming, that can and will allow you to accomplish more of your goals, more of what it is you want to achieve. And you do it, the primary driver, as I said, is self-image.